how about taking up an event that would discuss the implications of information and communications technologies on family farming and this event does academically and and in thinking does offer huge challenges to us so it's, it's for me overwhelming how many people we have here and out of how many uh, regions of the world we have people here. What is the target of the Club of Ossia? So let's say it started with a group of agriculturalists, but it is open to new ones, so I welcome everybody to take part uh, at the Club of Ossia. And it should improve the collaboration, independent, if public, if private, if technological, if the science, whatever, we have to cooperate. Uh, without this cooperation, we will not be able to solve the problem. So it should be a platform for interaction, for dialogue, and it aims to be global. This is what the Club of OSEAC is about, that we are not only here to produce more food as farmers, we are not only making the food affordable, we are also not making the food only as healthy and nutritious, and but we have, as far as many of us believe, the farmers of this world have interests in managing the environment and the cultural heritage of a region and a village. We have to consider agriculture as a part of the ecosystem and how ICTs can contribute to the sustaining sustainability of, uh, agri of uh, agriculture, of those involved in agriculture. So this has been one of the Club of Osiak's uh, primary motives for coming together. First, policies and societal values are now considered as being as key drivers of changes and shaping the future. Second, uh, very importantly, consumers and uh, consumption patterns are increasingly recognized as um, one of the key drivers shaping the future of agriculture, rural development and, and food. What is important is that we did this conference not just because it's the year of family, uh, the International Year of Family Farming, but also because family farming is at the core of agriculture worldwide. Which future are we aiming at? There is a huge variety of vision of that. The ethics of the design of ICT. How much people are able to know what they need? How much people are able to know what they can? How much people can know what they actually want to do, which is the notion of autonomy. One pillar is for direct payments to farmers, and the second pillar is for rural development measures. Direct payments will be done not just for cropping an area, but also to implement some greening measure. We train the, the employees of the co-ops, but also the, the advisory boards, uh, for example, um, in our academy. In China, 12 national levels of a rural informatization uh, demonstration provinces established. A third build an information service station in every village. They are uh, use mobile phone to manage and control their production. And sorry, Walter, you made it false in setting ICT as Internet Computer Technology. Forget about it. It's an intelligent, collaborative technology which we need in future. When we want to have money, farmers need to have benefit out of it. And without having that benefit, they will never follow us. If you see the figures, which are no doubt about, that we need to feed 10 billion people in a short while, there's a, a tremendous business in behind. I said the Agri is about many countries. We had 15 active countries and six observer countries all over Europe. What are the goals of ICT Agri? We want to pool the European research knowledge. We want to uh, collect all the information available and propose new future research directions. ICT Agri is uh, coordinating and stimulating agricultural research in ICT and robotics in European Union. And what we're doing for the whole agriculture business is uh, particularly 
beneficial for the family farms also. Things, risk assessment, information management, risk mitigation, if there is a risk. So we provide an application that's for free, basically. Can we mix that in a sustainable information infrastructure that could help, really help farmers? They go to set up cooperative. So cooperatives could be something to manage commons. And you can also use this map for easier selection of your projection zone. The resolution is 30 centimeters per pixel and the images are certified for agricultural applications by the uh, European Union Joint Research Center. You can see here the fields with the appropriate plots or plot and the plot describes the smallest uniform cultivated area and therefore also the outstanding activity because each activity is linked uh, to an icon as you can see here the start fertilization or the harvest and so on. All this information are from the experts. So the planning is done on the geographical side then the field is moved into the database and directly transported to the mobile GIS on the system outside. The contract that you produced in the office is sent to the mobile equipment, to MobGIS. The red arrow is your own possession, then you see the, all the contracts that you have get, what you should do, and when you click on the contract you know where the field, where you should go, and you have the map behind for orientation. We know that agriculture is a very complex system. We have now data many data, various data. Uh, that means we have data over this complex system that is agriculture. And, uh, regarding risk, risk management of these complex systems, one issue is to, to be capable of uh, looking into the future. We don't want to enable family farming, we want to improve family farming. So I would like to thank you all for listening to me. Thank you very much.